in this problem where we're counting paths, uh, there are some ways to go about doing it where you um, use some combinatorics, but the most efficient way for because of the size of the rectangle is to just do some node counting. And node counting is where you essentially count backwards and you, you look for the number of ways from each node to, to get to your de destination. Um, and so when we go through and do this, the easiest ones are just on the outside where there's just one way. For on the outside of the right or on the bottom, we can only go um, one path to get to the final destination. And then from there on uh, there, we look for uh, nodes where we know the um, node below it and the node to the right of it. So for instance, this is two, because if we go this direction, you have one way to get to the end. In this direction, you have one way to get to the end. And so we can just start filling them in. And here we have two and one, so that's three. Three and one is four. And so you can see a nice pattern happening there. The same pattern happens uh, on this line where we're just doing um, the success, successive number plus one. Then we start looking at nodes like this one. This From here, if we went down, it would be three. And to the right, it would be three. So from here, it would be six. Here would be 10, six and four. 10 and five would be 15. This is where you maybe run into a little issue. When you go to this node, the only option is to go right. You can't go down, so it remains 15. And this one remains 15. Same thing here. Your only option is to go down, and so this one's 6, and this is 6. Which means this node here is 21, because you can only go to the right or down. And then we start working around the top. 15 and 6 is 21. 15 and 21 is 36. 51, 72. And we can fill the rest of these in. 6 and 7 is 13, 21, 13 and 6 is 19, 21, 19 is 40, 21, 19 is 40 again. We're almost there, which gives us 112, 40 plus 72, 40 plus 40 is 80. So from point A to point B, there are exactly 192 ways um, to get to the end. Like I said, there are some other ways to do it, but in a problem like this, those ways would be more complicated than this way to get the best possible solution to the problem.